pi okay we have the square root of x times x times x equals 4 okay what is the first step multiply this this and this so we have the square root of x to the power of 3 to be equal to this 4 right now the next thing is to work on this right this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 2 because of the square root and this is equal to 4 now we can remove this power I mean this one on the outside so we have x to the power of 3 right okay to the power of 1 over 2 now I will multiply this power by 2 so on the other hand I will now have 4 to the power of 2 this will take this out x to the power of 3 is equal to 4 squared and that is 16 now how do we remove this 3 we remove the 3 by taking the you know the cube root of the of x to the power of 3 so here and I'm going to have 1 over 3 so on the other hand I will now have 16 to the power of 1 over 3 so that this will go with this one and then x is free which is what we have been looking for and here now we have 16 to the power of 1 over 3 and then I believe that you know that your x is now the same thing as the cube root of 16 and like we always do we verify our result the equation is still square root of x times x times x equals 4 now in place of x now we have cube root of 13 and like I told us before now the cube root of 13 I mean the cube root of 16 is the same thing as 16 to the power of 1 over 3 multiply by the next x which is now 16 to the power of 1 over 3 then multiply by 16 again to the power of 1 over 3 and this is equal to 4 now we are going to pick one of the bases here so we have square root of 16 then the powers we're going to add them because we are multiplying so we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 right so this will now give us square root of 16 to the power of 3 over 3 right and 3 over 3 is 1 so this equally means that we are having square root of 16 and square root of 16 is 4 therefore our x to be equal to the cube root of 16 satisfies the equation thank you for watching